What's going on YouTube? This is NecroStevo, and once again we have something a little bit different. Uh, this time it doesn't even have anything to do with Pokemon. I just thought I'd upload a relatively short session of Would You Rather. Now for those of you who don't know, which I figure most people know what Would You Rather is, someone gives you a query of two different possibilities. Normally it's a hard decision. You say which one you choose, and you say why. So let's go through a few of these Would You Rathers on, um, either.io.com. I'm gonna skip this first one because I've had forever to think about it. Uh, I would obviously be the transporter. That's uh, that's an obvious choice. So we're not gonna do that one. That's not a serious one. But so let's see what the first question is. Would you rather have a monster truck or have a chariot with horses? Uh, I feel like the chariot is much more amazing, much more generally kind of just cool. But you do have that upkeep of having the horses and also feeding the horses and housing the horses. Whereas a monster truck, you just have to deal with the maintenance of having a monster truck. Uh, I do think a chariot would be easier to store than a monster truck at my garage if I were to have a garage. It would not be built for a monster truck. So we're going to go with the chariot with horses just because I think it's easier to handle that. I don't really like horse poop though. Uh, that makes it a little difficult. Would you rather be a nudist or be a never nude? I am not Tobias Fumke. I would much rather be a nudist. Don't think my uh, girlfriend would appreciate me being a never nude either. Uh, might make things a little bit difficult. Uh, unless you happen to find one of the hundreds of people in the world that's a never nude. Now if you had psychic powers, would you rather be psychokinetic or telepathic? Of course, psychokinetic is the ability to move things with your mind. And telepathic is the ability to communicate with your mind into other life forms. Um, I feel like I could get into so many more shenanigans with uh, the ability to be psychokinetic. Just being able to, to move objects and do pranks and, and push kids into fountains when their parents aren't paying attention because they're, they're bad parents. I don't know. There's a lot of things I could do there. Which mesh up really, really well with my bad tendencies. So we're going to go with that. A lot more people thought they'd rather have telepathy. I don't. I just don't know how useful that would be to be able to speak into someone else's mind. I guess you can make them think that they're crazy, which might be fun, but I, I'd rather pull someone's chair out from underneath them. Or I guess you could catch someone when they're about to fall with your mind if you just want to be a good Samaritan. But pranks would be fun. Would you rather death by firing squad or death by hanging? Uh, you have a pretty good chance of surviving death by hanging um, assuming you don't asphyxiate uh, there are different ways you can if, if for example if the drop on the rope isn't sharp enough then it won't necessarily break your neck then you might not suffocate and if the fiery squad people have terrible aim they might not kill you so I guess it depends on if you really want to die or not if I had to choose that would be interesting if you say you were in court and the judge goes you're guilty you get to choose you want to be hung, or do you want me to shoot you in the face with this squad? Uh, I guess I'd go with the firing squad. That just seems much more old school and cool. Whereas hanging, me being a black guy, mm, I don't really like the way that sounds. So we're going to go with death by firing squad. A lot more people like that. I can I can appreciate that, though. It just seems uh, a lot, I don't know, a lot cooler to go out that way, if you have to go out that way. Now, would you rather only drink carbonated beverages? or never drink carbonated beverages. And for me, I hardly ever drink soda, or I guess pop, or soda pop, or Coke, depending on where you're from. Those all mean the same thing. I, it really confuses me when a Southern person, I, I live in Alabama, it confuses me when a Southern person says, hey, I'm gonna get a Coke, and then come back with like a Sprite or a Fanta, and it's like, you didn't get a Coke. And it's just Coke is this catch-all for all the sodas. That's stupid because Coke is a very specific product. Anyways, though. I would much rather never drink any carbonated beverages because they're terrible for you. And the only thing that I would really miss there anyways is ginger ale and root beer and cream soda, uh, which I drink those very sparingly because when I do drink them, I like to enjoy them. Otherwise, I just stick to water and tea most of the time. Uh, would you rather go to prison for five years or get punched hard in the face every hour of the day, every day for five years? Now. This is a little bit of a loaded question. Uh, I've never been to prison as an inmate, 
that that last part is very important there as an inmate. I've visited prisons several times uh, and seen the various conditions that inmates have to live in. Not great, plus you just have kind of the inmate warfare. Uh, if you've never played Batman Arkham Asylum, it kind of gives you an idea. Just people beating each other up for, for random things or, or, you know, selling each other's bodies for whatever type of fun thing. Like I hear you can take this person and train my Pokemon in this game or whatever adult version of that you'd like. But if you get punched hard, that's the caveat there, getting punched hard in the face, in the face, your face is the whole front of your head. So you have so many chances there for concussions and just breaking your different bones on your face and cartilage getting removed and I'd much rather risk my chances in prison for five years than to get punched in the face hard every hour of every day for five years. Now that means you're getting punched in the face hard 24 times for a day, 24 times a day. That's gonna interrupt your sleep. That's gonna interrupt whatever type of social life you have going. Yeah, no, I'd rather just go to prison, get it all out of the way, and then I can move on with things. Now, would you rather bring modern weapons of the Revolutionary War or bring modern weapons to the Civil War? That, that uh, must be two. Um, bring modern weapons to the Revolutionary War, bring modern weapons to the Civil War. I don't know. Let's see. That's that's kind of a weird question, actually. So the the impact that modern weapons might have upon the Civil War versus the Revolutionary War, you have both wars with with really really highly trained militias versus basically guerrilla warfare type deals. And if those militias had the weaponry that we have today, those wars would have ended so much more quickly than they did, and there wouldn't have really been a war. The the guerrilla or the the Patriots, as it were, would have just been wiped out. The and for the Civil War, the South wouldn't have stood a chance at all because the North already had better um, weapons. I'm not going to get into a huge Civil War debate here. I, it's, it's I've already gotten into that with all the Confederate flag flyers. But anyways, though, I guess it'd be more interesting to have modern weapons if there was a, some way for the colonists to have modern weapons from, say, other territories like how Spain and France gave a lot of support to the colonies that might have made that war more interesting I don't think it would have had a big as bit of an impact on the Civil War so we're gonna go with that one uh, that was a pretty pretty even split on that one interestingly now would you rather be stalked by Slenderman or take part in one of Jigsaw's games Ooh, neither of those is good that's terrible uh, ostensibly if depending on the game you could get out of Jigsaw's game with only minor, terrible uh, dismemberment of some sort, or if, at the very least, disfiguration or trauma. Uh, and that's assuming that there aren't other people taking part in the same game as you that can also get you killed. Meanwhile, being stalked by Slenderman, you're kind of screwed, uh, especially if Marble Hornets is any uh, evidence of how that would go. I don't know, when I get stalked by Slenderman and, and uh, Minecraft, it almost always ends up with my with me dying unless I can find a body of water. I and mean, with Marble Hornets, I actually went to the university where um, uh, several of the guys went and filmed that. So that was fun being in being able to go and see some of the areas we were filming in. And I guess you could start working with Slenderman or something weird later on if that's the mythos that actually ends up happening. But at the very least, you're gonna get kidnapped or something. Um, I guess I'd rather take part in one of Jigsaw's games. I have pretty high mental fortitude and a high pain tolerance, so whatever he sets up, I feel like I could get through it as long as I thought through it pretty strategically. So we're just gonna say, we're gonna say that. Interesting, they'd much rather be stalked by Slender Man. I don't think that, that would go over well at all. That's just me though. We'll do one more. The last one, would you rather get stuck in an elevator on your own for 53 hours or be the lone survivor of a bank hostage situation? That's easy. Why would you want to be in an elevator for 53 hours? I, I can't think of, unless there wouldn't be a, a charging outlet in there. I mean, I could be, I'd have what? If I had both of my DS's on me, that's eight hours of, of whatever games I want to play. Maybe 10, if I play on the lowest battery setting. If I realize I'm stuck, I'd probably turn off my phone. 
So that may be another two to three hours, because assuming I would call someone or something like that. So that's 12 hours. That just leaves all these hours unaccounted for, and I don't know if I say I have to go to work and I'm losing my job because I didn't show up because I'm stuck in an elevator and I'm on my own. I don't have any freaking alibi here. It's just hearsay. I was stuck in an elevator. Oh yeah, sure you were. You're fired. I don't know. That seems like a lot to unpack throughout the day and would be really, really, really boring. Um, meanwhile, being the lone survivor of a Ben Costa situation, that's that. I, get, I could write a book about that. That is easily that might be traumatizing for someone else but for me having seen dead bodies before uh that wouldn't bother me too much so um i'm assuming if i'm the lone survivor either i killed the bank robbers or they just had bad aim and i just randomly got out of that or maybe i was in the bathroom while the whole thing was going down either way i'm okay with that much rather be the lone survivor and a lot of other people agree so let me know if you guys enjoyed this round of Would You Rather. I hope it gave you a slight little insight into my weird psyche. Uh, and if you had any Would You Rathers that you didn't agree with with me, please leave them in the comments. It would probably be very entertaining to read your responses, especially to this last one. I think that that could go either way for a lot of people, especially if you had plenty of things on you. Like if you had a good book or two or three or four, being locked in a, uh, an elevator for 53 hours, which is a weird number by the way, wouldn't be too terrible. Um, you probably would start to go very sick from dehydration, so hopefully you have some water on you. Anyways though, guys have a great week, I will talk to you later, bye bye now.